Have you ever wondered if there was a way that we could get rid of that sluggish, bloated, toxic feeling, or even boost our immune system without mounds of supplements or going for a long workout or getting in the sauna? Well, today we're gonna talk about some techniques that are really easy to do. You don't even have to change your clothes. You don't have to change your diet. You can just do it right where you're seated. And the first one we're gonna talk about is sternum tapping. And think gorilla in the wild, beating your chest only way softer. So the only thing you need to do is sit up nice and tall, kind of lift through the crown of your head, and then you're gonna breathe in and out of your nose and you're gonna put your hand like you're trying to shish someone which is not very nice, but we're just gonna use this to tap our sternum. So you're gonna find your sternum bone, you're gonna take your hands in your shush position, position, and you're just gonna begin to lightly tap your sternum while breathing in and out of your nose. And if you can drive with one hand, you can do this while you're driving down the road or while you're watching TV, or if you're just having a moment where you need to feel better, just for 30 seconds to a minute, you're just gonna tap right here on your sternum. The reason this sternum tapping is so effective is right behind the sternum, we have the thymus gland, which is vitally important in keeping the body free from foreign invaders. But also we have lymph nodes right behind our sternum as well. And they are also throughout the body, like the neck, the torso, and the groin. And lymphatic circulation runs parallel to the blood vessel system, but it doesn't have a pump like the heart is for the blood vessel system. So it has to run upstream, think salmon running upstream. And so the lymph nodes, you can think of them as like a pit stop on a racetrack where the car races in there and they change the tires and they do whatever they do and send the, the car on around the track. Well, the lymph nodes, when the lymph gets in that, it is removing the debris and the cancer cells and the dead blood cells. And then it also is taking fat and fat soluble vitamins and delivering it to the cells. So you can think of it as not only the service that removes our garbage, but it also is the grocery deliver, delivery system as well as it gets rid of waste or fluid interstitially. If the lymphatic circulation doesn't have a pump like the blood vessel system's heart, then how does the lymph get up towards the neck and go through the lymph nodes? It does it by joint movement and muscle movement because lymphatic circulation is really close underneath the skin. So when we move, that's very helpful in stimulating our lymphatic circulation. But there are many other techniques. So the second one we're gonna talk about is bouncing. And you'll see how a lot of people are big proponents of a mini tramp. But if you don't wanna do that, while you're standing in line waiting for your coffee or to pay for your groceries, you can do toe raises. And another really great way to do it is just bouncing your heels. So if you're sitting in the car and you're using your right foot for the gas pedal and the brake, take your left foot and just bounce your heel. Or when you're watching TV, just bounce your heel, heels for a little bit. It doesn't have to be this big, long, drawn out deal. Just 30 seconds to a minute will really help. And then another technique is dry skin brushing. And I'll list a video that I did. I'm a long time dry skin brusher, but you brush with a skin brush before you get in the shower or take a bath in upward strokes. And since the lymphatic circulation is really close underneath the skin, it just brings that lymph to the lymph nodes. And then also we can do an armpit massage because you have a lot of them in your armpit. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna lift your arm up and then you're gonna tap on your armpit or massage your armpit in circular motions for about 30 seconds to a minute. Now you don't wanna do like a hard massage. It's just a light circular motion or a light tapping motion. And while you're doing it, if you'll just take that time to close your lips and do a little nose breathing, it's very effective. The next one we're gonna talk about is stimulating the lymph nodes on either side of the ear. So you're gonna take your fingers, if you're old enough to remember, like Nanu Nanu, Mark and Mindy, and you're gonna put those fingers on either side of the ear, and then you're going to rub up and down to get that lymphatic circulation really stimulated and nice and warm, and then take your hand and just rub down your neck so you can get that congestion down into those lymph nodes in the neck. 
And then also you can stimulate right under the collarbone by lightly tapping or lightly massaging. That's also beneficial. But things like breath work, and if you don't wanna do a breath work practice, you can just close your lips and breathe in and out of your nose for a count of four. If you're just having a moment where you need to center yourself and boost your immune system, that's really a great way. Also getting in a sauna is very, very helpful. And then of course, drinking enough water, staying fully hydrated. But if you have some techniques that I didn't list, I would love for you to comment below and reach out. I'd love to hear from you. But until next time, keep that lymphatic circulation flowing and be blessed.